Hey everyone, John Peluso, Vice President of Product Management. And I'm Dan Wilkins, Product Manager here at AppPoint. And today we're going to be talking to you about AppPoint Office Connect. So a lot of our customers are using SharePoint as a document management solution. In order for a document management solution to be successful, you need proper classification. And they go hand in hand. Without proper classification, it becomes hard for end users to find the information that they need to leverage search in the way that it's supposed to be done, and to use things like metadata and content types to actually classify that data. When you don't have those three concepts working together, you find that end users often find the uh, path of least resistance. So they're going to store things inside of Office, Outlook, their own desktops, file shares, so this way they could have some semblance of control. Now the problem is for the IT side is that they need to regain control over the end users to make sure you're bringing it into one single source of truth, which again, they intend to be SharePoint. So let's talk a little bit more about how those end users cause that to be so. Yep. If it's easier for me to send that attachment, that's what I'm going to do. Even if I know I'm supposed to put the content in SharePoint, it's really hard for me as an end user to stomach taking 17 steps to go out to a SharePoint site, upload my content, copy the link, come back to my inbox, paste the link in, hope that everybody has access to that content, send it out, get an email back that someone may not have access to the content. It's easier for me to just send out that, that email with the attachment, and I've now undercut all of the document management and all the, really the productivity benefits that that SharePoint system was intended to produce. So what did we build? Office Connect is a solution that allows you to have your users continue working where they're comfortable in their client programs like Outlook, Word, and Excel, um, but to allow the content that they're sharing to get into those SharePoint repositories where you've got all of your controls and all your management or out to an externally shareable portal so you can share securely with people who are not inside your company. So let's get into the nitty gritty. What does it actually do? So for Outlook, Office, or Desktop, we give you the ability to drag and drop content from those repositories directly into SharePoint. Not only do we capture this information, but we also allow you to classify it upon entry as well. So essentially, if we put ourselves in the position of a user, they receive email in their inbox or they're generating content in their uh, client application like Word or Excel. Um, we want them to put that information into SharePoint. Uh, or get it out to people who it needs to be shared with. And that's what Office Connect really does, right? It allows the user to start with that simple use case and allows them a couple of clicks to go down any path that they need to get to put the content in the right place in SharePoint or the right place to share externally without having to think too much about where they're supposed to go and what they're supposed to do. So in this demo, you're going to see three things that you can do with Office Connect. The first thing you're going to see is capturing information from Outlook and putting it into a SharePoint location. The next two things are going to relate to actually the sharing of that documentation, whether it's with an internal user and how you're going to do that with Office Connect, or how you're going to share with an external user by uploading it to a secure external portal. John, do you want to talk a little bit more about how you're going to do that? Yep. So the first example will be in a case where maybe we're uh, designing SharePoint as a repository to hold email or content for records management purposes and how we can easily get content out of our inbox into SharePoint. Mm -hmm. Second example will be how we can share with our colleagues internally by getting that content to SharePoint with very few clicks but allowing it to be properly classified. And then the final demo will be uh, really a, a big problem for end users is I have to share with someone outside the organization how do I do it? And how do I control that sharing, whereas if I sent out an attachment, I have no control. So that'll be the third example that we see. Hi, my name is John Peluso. I'm a Vice President of Product Management at AvPoint, and I want to show you uh, our new product called Office Connect. And so I'm going to run through a few scenarios. First off, Office Connect is intended for organizations who've decided that SharePoint um, is going to be the information repository of choice for one of many reasons, um, and now needs to enable users to get content into SharePoint more easily than by going directly to SharePoint. So it's a user behavior issue as well as a productivity issue. So the scenarios I'm going to run through here are um, I'm going to deal with uh, content that comes to me through my Outlook inbox. 
I'm also going to deal with content um, that I want to send out and making sure that I can both triage content as it comes into me, get it to SharePoint as necessary very easily and very quickly, but also ensure that in my normal work stream I can get content out to SharePoint and share it as a link or get it out to a secure sharing repository for external users very quickly, very easily without interrupting kind of my daily flow. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in in my inbox here. Now I'm in my inbox as a user who has received um, a file. Now the way this user is collaborating, OC user one, he's dealing with a couple of different sites, um, a collaboration site for the team as well as sort of a project site for the team. Um, so two different SharePoint repositories and obviously there's some some guidance and some governance about what types of files go in what locations. Um, but I don't want to have to come to SharePoint um, to go ahead and dump my files in here. And as you can see I've got a, a colleague, OC user 2, who has sent me a file that is important for the project but they sent me an attachment, right? So I know that that's, that's not ideal and I want to very quickly and easily get this attachment um, uh, into the SharePoint repository. So a couple things that I could do here, um, I could very easily using the Office Connect buttons on the ribbon um, that are right in my inbox, copy this attachment to SharePoint or copy the entire message to SharePoint, right, including the actual email file. Uh, but let's go ahead and copy the attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the attachment to SharePoint and um, either through mandates from a centralized configuration or because I've added them myself, I have some favorites and some SharePoint connections set up here and one of them is to my project site. So you can see here I have my region info file and I'm going to copy it to the documents library that's in that project site. Now region info isn't all that ex uh, explicit in terms of what it is. So I'm going to use this opportunity right through the Office Connect uh, interface to change the name and the title of this file so it makes more sense once it gets to SharePoint. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and now edit this. Good, now it's going to mean something when it gets to that library. I'm going to hit next. Now, um, in this library, right, out here in my project site, uh, which is where this thing is going to land, um, what you'll notice is that I have two different content types set up depending upon the type of information. So as I'm dealing with Outlook and using Office Connect to get this content in, I can make my content type selection right here. And because this is going to be uh, record information, project record information, any of the required fields in that content type are presented to me. So this is still a work in process. Uh, uh, content and it is unsigned and uncommitted. So I'm going to make those two um, designations here in Office Connect. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and upload the file. And you can see that the upload was successful. Okay, and if we take a look at the SharePoint side and just refresh, we'll see that I now have the file. And if I go and view it, we'll see that all the required metadata um, information is in there. So we've we've captured the file without the user having to go directly to SharePoint, uh, without the user having to know how to get this thing uploaded into SharePoint. And uh, that's the first flow, right? So just a productivity as well as a, a compliance flow. So let's look at another scenario. In this scenario, I want to share uh, some information with a colleague. Uh, who's also working on this project. So OC user 2, he's the guy that sent me the, uh, the attachment before. Um, I'm going to do the proper thing. I'm going to send him an email. Let's collab on the M300 doc. Okay, and now normally what I would do is I would insert an attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this file. And uh, in my uh, file system here, I have a sample docs uh, location and here's my M300 product information document. Um, Office Connect uh, notices that I'm attaching something and asks me if I want to save it directly to SharePoint. And so I'm going to say yes and Office Connect now wants to know where I want to put this document and I'm going to put it right here in the collab site. Right, It's not a project document, it's more of a collaboration document. Um, the title here is fine. 
next step I don't have any other required metadata so just a simple process to get that file uploaded and when I'm done the OC user 2 um, will be getting the link to this file so I just go ahead and send it right? I don't necessarily want to send this email as a whole to SharePoint either although you can see that's an option and then if we take a look at the OC users inbox here you can see I've got a link directly to the file and if you look in the lower left here you'll see um, that this is linking out to SharePoint so we avoided the attachment problem so let's go back to user 1 and a, th a third scenario that I might want to deal with here is that I want to share some content securely with some folks that may not be part of my organization okay so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna come back to a new mail and I'm going to send a document to some at one.com who's outside my organization and maybe I'll copy OC user right because uh, he needs to know about it as well and I'll say um, here's the doc we discussed on the phone and this sum at one.com is a user that's outside of my organization so just like before I'm gonna go attach a different file let's use this great white overview document right in this case I don't actually want to save this to SharePoint because my my sum at one user isn't gonna be able to access that file in SharePoint because um, he or she does not have access to my internal SharePoint so instead what I'm gonna do is what's called a quick share and in a quick share we're gonna share this using um, the AvPoint secure sharing technology um, so here's the permission levels that are going to be applied in this external sharing portal right on the two line they have edit rights and on the uh, CC field they have read rights and just as easy as that this email has now gone out now what did the user see let's go back to user 2 right here's the share links um, to the file you can see it's in my um, in my external sharing console so let's go ahead to the external sharing console here it is Oop. let's go to the external sharing console let me just refresh this so this is uh, the avpoint perimeter external sharing portal where I can do secure sharing and my great white document should be over here if it's refreshed properly here it is great white overview and I can see the file I can revoke permission right now I can see that sum at one.com has permission to the file if I wanted to revoke it I could notice I could set expiration times also on this uh, this great white file if I take a look I can also see any activity so thus far there's been no document usage um, and obviously I'm not gonna be able to get into the great white users um, uh, inbox but here's the CC that went to my user um, you can see that there's now two copies of the file there's the file that got posted for the internal consumption as well as the file that got posted for external consumption and if we take a look down on the lower left you'll see that this is actually going to an external repository now what uh, the external user would have seen is the same exact email right and if they didn't have access to the internal link they could have access to the external link via the perimeter sharing portal and if they didn't have an account they would simply have to go through this simple process of registering on that portal okay so the first time they create an ID and that from that point forward any files that have been shared with them they'll be able to access so right here from Outlook we've accomplished three different very important things I've triaged incoming uh, documents and gotten them to the right users um, I've sent out links to SharePoint that originated as share uh, Outlook attachments and Office Connect was able to instantly convert those to the proper type and the proper location in SharePoint and we saw how we can share externally using the perimeter secure secure share integration in Office Connect um, now we have lots of other integration as well these same type of actions can be performed um, directly from products like Word or Excel or directly from the desktop right so I can share files from them but um, that's the basic idea hi everyone John Peluso vice president of product product potty management here and I'm help. Dan Wilkins also in the potty management department we're your janitors here to help you clean up your ish one day at a time